Hello folks! It's been a few months, hasn't it? And I thought I'd be able to produce a couple videos this winter. Little did I know how bad the winter of 2020 to 2021 could be. I don't know if any of you experienced such horrid conditions, but I, I'm not exaggerating when I say feet of snow prevented me from getting to certain places that I really wanted to visit. But hey, that may be a good thing. Now we get to experience those places in warmer weather. And uh, even though the trees haven't sprouted yet, um, the grass hasn't greened, only good weather is to come here. Today I am in northern Pennsylvania. Very striking to see the mountains. Very iconic of northern Pennsylvania. Very desolate, quiet place and a perfect place to uh, tell you all about some updates. Some exciting new updates we have for the coverage project. First of all, I want to thank all of you for keeping with the program. Sure, it's been about three months since I last uploaded a video, but in that time my subscriber count has doubled, my view count has doubled, and I don't know how, but daily view rate has been maintained. So I have nobody really to thank but you all for still taking an interest to all my videos and all the places that we've gone to. So more videos are sure to come. Speaking of which, that leads me to my next little announcement. Over these last few months, I've been working hard, saving up, and I've managed to obtain a nice little trailer for all these excursions. So that only means more videos, more locations being frequently covered. One could see videos being uploaded maybe every day, every couple days now. It's real exciting because now, instead of being able to only really take a trip within three hours or so of where I am, um, I can really expand out and go to other states, other places, other exciting locations. Lots of fun destinations are now within the Coverage Project's grasp. So, as it stands, we now have a great opportunity as a channel to visit a lot of different places, but I'm not gonna just visit New York City or Chicago or any of these tourist traps. You know, I want to visit the more underrepresented parts of the country later on the world. I want to visit the places nobody talks about, but still have that awe-inspiring wonder of culture. So with that being said, I must say though, I'm no professional. If you want professional tour guide to take you around to these different places, I'm not your person, and you can go to another channel. Um, but... For right now, I want to show you all the wonders that could be made when you just go to these little small towns or scenic places. You'll still have as much fun as if you went to big sprawling metropolises or world-renowned landmarks. If you make it an adventure, anything can be an adventure. So like I said, I'm no professional. I don't have a degree. I, I'm not getting any money for this. So, I don't want any of you to hold me to a standard where I have to show everything. I'm only showing what I see as a simple tourist who wants to see the world in a very innocent manner. So if you like this type of vlog, if you want to see things other travel vloggers will not show you, then the coverage project is for you. Well, we're back at that great peaceful meadow where we started this few minute long video. I just want to say this is going to be a huge undertaking for me. I don't think I've ever done something like this of this magnitude. I don't know where it's going to take me. I really have no clue whether I'll come out of this a better person, or I'll learn some things, or whether this is going to take me to a whole nother level of what I want to do with my life. But one thing's for sure, through these next several months at least, I hope to at least give good content to inform 
as many people as possible about the beauties of this world that are often underrepresented. I do want to make sure that it's a life-changing experience for me, and I really have no idea how long I'm able to do this, whether things will happen out of this, but I'll just take it how it is, one day at a time. Speaking on behalf of realistic terms, I have to understand that this could very well end up as a bust. I could become so disinterested in this, but overall it's going to be a major challenge because now I'm dedicating my entire 24-hour schedule to this project. There's no sense of learning a lot about yourself through a, men a mundane type of life, so I really want to learn and grow as a person from this. Most of all, I can't just think I have to get this done and be goal-oriented. Sure, it's nice to be to have goals, but it's also another thing if you make the goal everything. I think one has to truly live in the moment and embrace the experiences because that's how one learns the best. Whether I achieve success or not, that's really out of my hands, and so what I have to do and think and just be always in the mindset of is that, well, I have to enjoy what I'm doing, most of all. It's now starting to drizzle a little, so I gotta be in the shade here, but Overall, I hope for the best of, of times as, as we get to go through these different states, regions of the country, and just see what happens of it. Naturally, I want to be the one to make my own type of interesting content that's really separate from any, anybody else's. I mean, that's probably the goal of YouTube, right? If you're interested in a more down-to-earth, realistic travel vlogging experience that's not too highbrow and superficial, but really explores the simple beauties of nature, culture, anything the world has to offer, then uh, that's what the Coverage Project is all about. So, I hope to see you all in the future. It's a nice forest we're in. If only there were more than evergreen trees, but that's all right. But, as it stands, here I am in a simple wooded forest. More travels to come. I will see you all at the next location. Stay tuned. The future may just be a wild ride for us.